Hi, Happy New Year. I'm Ronnie Hybe, CTO of Networking, Edge and Access at the Lumix Foundation. Um, as I try to look into this uh, new year and try to predict uh, what will unfold, I think in this intersection of open source software and networking, I see several trends emerging, uh, which will keep us busy this year. Uh, first of all, I think the uh, transition toward cloud native will really mature this year. So cloud native is not a, a new concept. We've been talking about it uh, for a while, we've been doing a lot of things, but I think this year it will go beyond just containerization of network functions, but and really kind of leverage all the benefits of the cloud native architecture and applying it to networking. Uh, we're seeing several open source and other initiatives that will help propel that forward. Uh, first of all, is the cloud native. Uh, telco initiative that helps with best practices and test tools to make sure that network functions are really leveraging all these concepts of, of cloud nativeness uh, and other things like, for example, the Nephew project that help uh, operators and vendors and integrators to really orchestrate their network in a way that's truly cloud native and truly benefiting from um, the infrastructure uh, of, of Kubernetes and the entire ecosystem. So I think we'll see this year real maturity of, of that trend and, and really things re benefiting from, from that approach. So that's one thing. And then um, if we look at, at the network functions themselves, I think that uh, Open Run will, all, will also accelerate this year with the aid of open source software. Uh, what I hope will happen is that we'll finally have uh, kind of an end-to-end -end availability of all the building blocks necessary for a true open RAN network so that everybody who is researching or building products in this domain of open RAN will have access to uh, a full platform and full set of building blocks so they can play with and plug in their innovation into. Um, so I really hope that this will happen. We're also uh, seeing some um, tailwinds from the US administration trying to help and fund some of these open run initiatives. So hopefully this year, everything will play nicely together and we'll see a big push forward in uh, open run. And then finally, as, as we talk about connectivity, I think another trend that we're seeing is as part of that desire to have connectivity everywhere, um, the last um, the last frontier maybe is uh, non-terrestrial networks, and we're starting to see some serious work going on in, in this domain, both from current players in the satellite connectivity market who try to make their technology more accessible, but also from the standard uh, definition organizations and, and the uh, existing network vendors and operators, uh, the move toward integrating uh, non-terrestrial and satellite networks as, as part of this connectivity and hopefully bringing to the end users this seamless uh, connectivity everywhere that they're looking for. So putting everything together, I think we will have a very exciting 2025 and looking forward for the rest of the year and working with our communities.